What's going on? It's Aaron coming back at you, single dad life. First off, I want to say um, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there doing their thing and all that stuff. And um, happy double extra Father's Day to the single dads out there holding it down with their kids and all that stuff. Um, definitely doing their thing. So a couple of days ago, I had a little breakdown, you know, trying to get this, uh, this business. I guess it was a bunch of business stuff, you know what I mean? And uh, a lot of stress and all that, done a lot of praying and all that stuff. Thanks for everybody who supported and um, kept me in their prayers and all that stuff because stuff can get real stressful and all that stuff. But still here doing a, doing a thing and all that by the grace of God. Right now going ahead and making dinner up and all that got Got the store back situated today. Man, little man went, yeah, we got the store back situated today because we had a uh, space run on Friday. Um, so the store situated, ready for the week. Um, got new inventory in there and all that stuff. 1501 West Market Street, York PA 17404. Holla at your boy, the general. Um, let's see here, what else did I do? Clean, got the house cleaned up today for sure. Um, laundry done got josiah ready for school and everything tomorrow got one more stop to make um gotta finish making dinner for a little guy word up so now that that tack fell off the wall i guarantee you i'll be the one that falls that steps on it so um as i get ready to cook and all that stuff the week is just starting ready to handle it got a lot of naysayers out there thinking that i can't do this can't do that and all that i laugh at them they thought just because i took a day or two off that aaron lost it this and the third but i don't pay attention to the small people and all that stuff you know what i mean i got too many big visions big goals and ambitions to worry about small people you know what i mean Making, uh, I guess we're going to do chicken and all that. That's a to-do list for a Sunday. Wow. That's a to-do list. <laughs> but I could go ahead and mark a lot of that stuff off. Oh, got Josiah's haircut today. Thanks, uh, It's Me at It's Me 1971. Um, went to the store, of course. Got Josiah's stuff for his lunch. Uh, like I was saying, rearrange the store. I got to get um, my receipts and all that stuff up to my bookkeeper. Got a new uh, work schedule for uh, my employee. Um, I organized my basement. And all I got left to do really is finish cooking dinner and, oh, yeah, my closet. I got to do my own damn closet. That's going to be a bitch. But um, anyway, I'm back at it. Get dinner and all that stuff ready for a uh, little guy. He got to have double eggs all the time. So every time I cook, basically, I got to make double eggs for this little boy. You know what I mean? But that's what he likes, so that's what dad made. Uh, let's see here. I'm ready to definitely go ahead and go about the week. You know what I mean? Switching everything up this week. Like I said, I'd like to thank all those who really supported and, and really looked out for me and all that. I really had my best interest at heart and all that stuff. But best believe that uh, this week coming up, you will see a lot more of me. I don't give a damn if you like it. You might as well learn to love it because you will see me. I will be around. I'm not going nowhere. It will always be Bulldog Sportswear and Apparel. You will remember this face right here, Aaron Brown. Remember, right here. Because you will always see me. You will always see this smile. Got that right. So, like I was saying, I'm going to go ahead and finish getting this dinner situated and all that stuff. And um, I got a few more chores to do for the day. Damn, I just called them chores. <laughs> but I got a few more things to do for the day. Um, forgot to get my little guy lunch. We were so busy at the store, so he's been on his ramen noodle kick for some reason. So, uh, it was, it was easy as hell. He makes them himself, so I love that. 
while he's waiting on dinner and everything because you know he eats like four or five times a day or whatever, but that's, that's what it is. Get my little man ready. Of course, he wants to play football in the fall. Y'all seen Josiah. He's going to run over the typical seven-year-old. Believe me. It's not even fair. It's not going to be fair. So, yeah, and then he's downstairs in the basement hitting the weights and the um, punching bag as well and all that, you know, getting, he likes to train or whatever. So, I love it. You know, he definitely, um, he's telling me that he wants to be a vegetarian and everything, but he still eats a whole bunch of meat and all that stuff. So, when I try not to give him meat and everything, he gets all pissy and all that and wants meat, but he wants to be a vegetarian. So, I'm going to probably end up switching my diet up as well and end up becoming a vegetarian. Yeah, I'm going to try it for about a week after today. I'm going to try it for about a week and see if I can really, really handle that. You know what I mean? Whew. Just to go ahead and switch like that. So, um, we're going to see. I don't know what to do about his lunch. We might wait till he gets out of school because I don't know what to send him with to, uh, with uh, lunch and all that if he's going to be a straight vegetarian. You know what I mean? That's going to be kind of hard. So any suggestions and all that stuff can definitely hit me up and everything like that. Um, also, um, well, I, I like to also hear from other single fathers, you know what I mean, who are, who are doing their thing. You can uh, either DM me at, at Bulldog Sportswear or um, whatever, hit my inbox and all that stuff, or you can send a letter to 1501 West Market Street, your PA 17404, send it right to the store, and attention Aaron Brown and I get that, and uh, maybe I can get out there to you and all that, we could collab on some stuff, but I wanna see how y'all doing, and see uh, how you doing your thing, you know what I mean, because I know how tough and difficult it can be, you know, especially being a small business owner and a single father, it can definitely, definitely be rough out there you definitely gotta keep your head up and all that stuff and i know it's it's a lot easier said than done believe me because i have my moments also where i just totally just break down and i just stop you know like and i don't care about anything and the past few days i've been like that and josiah has come up to me probably about a hundred times and just kept hugging me and telling me that he loves me and i think that's god's way of really telling me that hey aaron's gonna be all right look at that little boy keep going you know so there's never no quit in me or anything like that just a little pause button you know so remember that when y'all see me all week all week long doing my thing you know what i mean all right the kitchen is ready and that is what's up Get these seasonings for our chicken. And I'm going to get that going. I'm going to get our chicken going. And um, oh, I don't even know what I'm having with it. Oh, of course we're having broccoli and deviled eggs, but I got to have some type of starch or something. So we're going to go with that. Oh, and I definitely... Definitely want to uh, make sure that everybody know that um, anxiety and depression is a real thing. Best believe it, you know, and uh, please do not take it lightly. If you have anybody in your family who suffers from it, reach out to them. You know what I mean? Just reach out to them and talk to them. Listen to them, you know. Worst feeling in the world is for someone to actually have that shit and to feel alone. You know, so if you know that you have a family member or friend or anybody who suffers from anxiety and depression and or depression, you know, um, definitely, definitely take a few minutes to reach out to them and let them know that, you know, if they need to talk or whatever, whenever they're ready to talk or whatever, that you're available and that that works wonders. Believe me, even though it might not, they might not want to at the time, but it definitely works wonders and all that shit. It definitely does. And uh, also prayer. I'm telling you, prayer definitely works, you know. And um, didn't get a chance to go to church today, which I'm kind of disappointed in myself about, you know. Um, but the Lord knows what's up. So uh, I'll definitely be there this 
this week, and um, we'll be at the men's closet on Wednesday, helping those in need at 340 East Market Street, your PA, at Asbury United Methodist Church, giving uh, clothes to those less fortunate and everything. So if you know anyone or if you want to send donations, go ahead and hit us up. You can DM me for that as well. And uh, I'm going to go ahead, like I said, get dinner situated. And um, I'll be back with y'all later on. Peace.